Hey, what's up guys? I'm Javi Guzman with MrPhoneDoctor.com and I'm gonna introduce you guys a new series that we're gonna be kicking off weekly. I would like to cover simple tips and tricks that you guys can do on your devices at home, or office, or wherever it is that you may be. So we've been getting a lot of questions for random types of repairs that, um, that are not really repair related. You know, it's a simple little remedy that you can do with uh, household items that you have lying around to help and uh, uh, resolve the issues that you may have. So today I'm going to be covering a storage hack that I use on a regular and I do offer this to all our customers who want to get extra storage on their devices. Now if you didn't know your storage is actually being used up by software loaded onto your phone. It is a good couple sizing gigs. I'd say probably about five six gigabytes if I'm not mistaken. Now with this storage hack it's actually going to allow you to store all your photos and videos onto the Google application called Google Photos. I really like using Google Photos just due to the fact that they give you unlimited storage capacity for uploading videos and photos. Now majority of the time on your device you're going to be bogged down by pictures and videos that you're taking on your phones. So you're actually able to upload all your photos and videos to the Google Photos account and have unlimited storage. It's not like the Apple storage where you're paying $2.99, I believe you get like 100 gigs or something like that. But um, this is going to be a cool little hack. You guys may have heard of it, you guys may use it, but if not, I'm really hoping that I shed some light and show you guys something new. So I'm going to show you guys how it runs. I have an iPhone 7 here and um, we're running out of memory on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install Google Photos. Alright, so once you have Google Photos downloaded on your device, and please keep in mind this does work for Android and Apple so if you are if you do have an uh, Android device and it's run out of memory you can do the same thing I run it on my Note 10 all the time I just like to have that peace of mind and having it backed up so it's a cool trick just do it on all your devices get in the habit and it'll auto sync everything to it so once you have photos already installed you're gonna want to go ahead and open it once it's open it's gonna give you an option of your photos and videos. Now with Google Photos, it does give you unlimited storage, but it, it is gonna lower these, it's gonna scale down your, your images, okay? You're not gonna get the high res images. So if you're a big photo person and you wanna keep the quality of it, you do need to get a subscription. But for majority of us, you know, we're just regular photo takers. It doesn't have to be high res HD images. So it's something that you can go ahead and uh, live around. I'm gonna go in and sign in using your Gmail account. So whatever Gmail account you guys have, just go ahead and sign in. So once you sign into your Gmail account on Google Photos, it's gonna ask you if you wanna back up as, you know, in this case it's Mr. Phone, it'll say your first name. I'm gonna go ahead and choose backup as Mr. Phone. And then in this next step, it actually gives you options. You can either choose high quality, free unlimited storage, or if you wanna do the original storage, which is, um, Original, that's going to keep your original file size. That one only gives you 15 gigs on the free Google Pay plan. You can upgrade your Google, your Google Pay plan to about 299 I believe it's 100 gigabytes if you want to do that and keep them high res, which is fair, you know, but I'm just going to do, in this case, I'm just going to do the high quality, free, unlimited storage. So um, you have the option of it backing up either on Wi-Fi or when you're not on Wi-Fi. Of course, please keep in mind if you're doing this without Wi-Fi, it is going to burn your data. So if you're on a limited data plan, just be careful on that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose. Let's go ahead and back up during Wi-Fi. And here we go with this next step. It's actually showing all my photos and it's allowing me to back everything up, photos and videos. If you notice on the top right, you're going to have either your your emoji con or your photo, whatever you have set on your uh, profile for Google Photos, and it's going to show an upload arrow saying that everything's uploading to the cloud. So while this is uploading to the cloud, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the memory that's on my phone, just so you can see how much memory we're going to save once this is all complete. Um, right now, I have a capacity of 32 gigabytes and I have 21.77 gigabytes available. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, once these upload, I'm gonna purge everything from the phone, which is fine. That just means it's gonna delete everything on your device, but it's gonna keep everything up in the cloud so that way they're accessible, you know, and it's not burning uh, storage capacity on your phone. 
So backing up, it's showing that I have about 803 items to upload. So it may take a while, you know, we may um, have to come back and reveal this. But um, we'll go ahead and let these upload right now. And then once they upload, we'll go ahead and cut back and I'll show you guys once I purge them to see how much memory that we've freed up on this device. So we had about 600 and some photos and videos that were transferred to the cloud. It took about 20 to 30 minutes. So and just remember, it, it all depends on your upload speeds. Uh, depending if you have a slower upload speed, it may take you longer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what it looks like once you are complete and everything's uploaded to the cloud. It'll let you know that the backup is complete and in this case it was 731 images. It was a little bit more than what I just said earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and purge these photos and videos completely from the phone's space so that way it frees up all that extra memory. So um, let's go to manage device storage and I'm going to go ahead and choose on free up space. And it's asking, delete 745 items from the device. It says they have been safely backed up to your Google account. You will be able to view them at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them completely from the camera roll on the iPhone. Delete. Deleting 744. And it's asking if you want to allow Google to do this. I'm going to go ahead and click delete to allow. And this should just take a few moments. And that is done. So items will be permanently deleted from your device in 30 days, or you can do this now. So to do this now, you want to go ahead and open the Apple Photos app. And then we're going to go to Albums and the Recently Deleted. And then I'm going to go ahead and go and select all and delete all. So let's go to the Apple Photos app. Let me see, we've got Photos. Recently Deleted, there they are. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Select. All right, so that's it, they've been deleted. So now I can go ahead and go into my storage and we'll see exactly how much memory we freed up by doing this little storage hack. So I'm gonna go to general, go about, and that's it. So now, I mean, our capacity is, we have 24 gigs available. So we did free up, it was about two gigs that we freed up. So going forward, any picture, videos, or anything that you do take on the phone, it's gonna upload to Google Photos. So that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope you got some good, useful information on this, and it helps save you guys some, some data on your phone. So if you're running low, you guys can't do any software updates, I would say that would be the first alternative to do is just get all these photos and images up onto the Google Photos. Like I said, it's free. Um, put them all up there and you should be able to have plenty of storage available to do any kind of updates If you guys like this episode make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and come back We're going to be dropping some uh, other more tips and tricks uh, home remedies stuff that you can do in-house. So um, Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode